Gangol made the trip to Bastia on Saturday, still looking for their first goal and point of the league on season. The Corsicans, though, were full of confidence after backing up an opening match win over Wren with a one-all draw at Lorient. And they didn't have to wait long to turn that momentum into a goal. Some trademark appalling gang on defending allowed defender Sebastian Squillacci to head the ball to Julian Palmieri from a corner. The midfielder simply smashed it home to give the home team a fifth minute advantage. And then when away side Gangon did manage to fashion an opening. Mana Dembele shot wide when he only had goalkeeper Jesper Hansen to beat. Bastia doubled their advantage six minutes before half-time. Palmieri heavily involved again and although he claimed this one, it went down as an own goal. Maxime Bakker, the unlucky man to be credited after yet more hapless defending. 2-0 at the interval as Bastia continued an excellent start to the season. The away team, though, into the second half were at least starting to create some chances. But Jimmy Brion failed, albeit narrowly, to head in his first goal since moving back to his home country after a spell in Germany with Hanover. Sego Fafana's shot was saved as Bastia looked to make the point safe. Although a pass to Floyd Aite may have been a far better option. 19-year-old striker Lasana Koulibaly was given his second substitute appearance of the season by Gislam Pranton. And he paid his manager back with a goal in the final minute after some woeful goalkeeping from Jonas Lursel. A simple finish for the teenager, his first top flight goal. And that completed the scoring and put the wrap on a very good day for Bastia. 3-0 it finished and they're now sitting pretty in second place behind only PSG. Gangol, meanwhile, are rock bottom.